documentations are a great ally to help us to move the software quality to the next level. However, even documentation has trade-off. On this video, I will explain you a little bit the, the extreme between over-documentation and non-documentation. Hello, hello everyone! My name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are an engineer who wants to increase your productivity and become more effective, welcome to the Ultimate Sophisticated Team. So, subscribe on my channel and also, also give the like. Okay, let's answer the question, what is the documentation trade-off? especially because as any software architecture aspect, we also have trade-off and documentation itself. Of course, today I will talk only about the extreme, what happens when I have too much and I don't have it. Let's start to, with the easy one, when I don't have documentation or non-documentation. It's a terrible scenario, but unfortunately it's happened more than I wish. Uh, what happened is, when I don't have documentation, I need to go through people mind to find out what's going on. You probably know that Keith, okay, I'm looking for documentation. And then somebody answer with, I am the documentation. It's a terrible scenario for you. Because of that, we need to read people's mind. We need to spend a couple of meetings to understand what's going on, to give people direction, and so on. Trust me, self-comment is utop utopia. Uh, don't believe in that point. So, they're more than software in the software engineer perspective. So, code is just a part of your job as software engineer. Uh, there is the architecture perspective. There are several details on it. Um, also, imagine the scenario, somebody left with the knowledge of the team and the whole historic point of the team. Eventually, you're gonna do the same mistake twice. It's not good for you, it's not good for the organization, it's not good for anybody. So when you don't have documentation around the decision, the trade-off, and so on, you, we're gonna do the same mistake more than once twice, three times, four times, and so on. And of course, when I need to read people's mind, I need to try to synchronize everything, put everybody on the, ta the table, it will spend a lot of time, a lot of people's time, includes yours. And of course, it will be a huge work to make progress on that area. As you probably know, even documentation can be an enemy in some scenarios. So, as I said, non-documentation is terrible as over-documentation is terrible too. Uh, when you spend too much time in documentation, uh, we start to do an over-engineer on documentation. That's so hard to document it, so oh, okay, I need to make it perfect. And eventually, nobody wants to touch on that. Because of that, it will become easier to duplicate it. Or, okay, on the soft engineer procedure, I want to put uh, several documentation step. So, I need to write more documentation than the code. It's hard to maintain a documentation like that. It's hard to read. And, of course, when I need to do more code documentation, more documentation than the, the, the code itself, the documentation might become an enemy, then a lie. Please pay attention on it. Yes, to summary, documentation is important. It is a crucial tool to increase the quality inside your software. However, please pay attention, because any aspect of software architecture that includes documentation itself has trade-off. Of course, PPT does not compile when you do over documentation. However, when we don't do code, it's a kind of go horse, right? Uh, and we need to find 
the pragmatic solution. I don't have formula to it. I already have some videos that talk more about kind of documentations like a tactical documentation where you're gonna cover the single repository where you need to document with readme file, with changelog file and documentation inside the code. On my case, as a Java expert with Javadoc, for example, and we also have the strategic documentation where we can use C4 model or uh, ADR, attach on decision records and tech reader. And you need to find this step and understand what's good enough for your organization. And my recommendation is use documentation as a, as a product where the user, the users are the engineer itself. So it's good enough. Let's, okay, it's missing something. Maybe put more documentation. Okay, it's over. Let's increase something. For example, on the C4 model, I usually go on T3. So context, components, and container. I usually don't go to the code on the C4. And it's okay. Sometimes I will go on to the C2. Okay, so please pay attention on it. So fair documentation is it right. And how about you? How do you handle documentation on your job? Please put your thoughts. If you enjoy, please share and also give the like.